all my days like this i like this 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 is what i like my chase card pulled yes hello ladies and gentlemen how much is this in today's video i'm going to be opening a pokemon center exclusive part they evolved elite trainer box and a regular retail elite trainer box to see which one has the better pulls so without Puffy. further scooby ado let's get it all right guys so here we have it is the front of the elite trainer boxes is the left one is the regular retail one that you can buy from most retail stores here's the pokemon center exclusive one straight off the bat you can tell this one has like a border with the zigzag lines i guess you can go going across it with the colors and then the pokemon center one is more clean like a black background and then the elite trainer box down at the bottom so you got the scarlet and violet how they evolve um logo symbol at the bottom left here whereas it's on the top there and then at the bottom pokemon center elite trainer box and here's just box boxed um elite trainer box so that's the front the top if i can just get it out of the light there you go so there's a border on the is the regular one so there's a border on the regular one the pokemon center one is um no border just clean sides i think that should be the same. yeah so the sides will be the same and then the back will probably be the same as well yeah, the back is exactly the same as well. Alright, so I'm going to crack these open and I'll show you the contents. In terms of player guide, but they're both exactly the same. Inner box as well is exactly the same on both sides. Yep, exactly the same on both sides. So with the regular Elite Trainer box, you only get one promo card. Just the regular promo card and then the Pokemon Center one, you get two. So you get the regular one, you get the Pokemon Center one. I've already done a more detailed and open these, so I'm going to keep these sealed on the channel. Um, link in the description down below if you want to see that, guys. But yeah, there's the promos, the difference between the promos, I guess. So just one, the Pokemon Center one is stamped. You get two, and then you only get the one in the regular Elite Trainer box. In terms of sleeves, they're exactly the same as well, so I guess they changed up. Uh, they used to, in the Pokemon Center ones, they used to give you different sleeves. Like a different the alternate art variant of the sleeve panel. Now the only thing they do different in terms of Pokemon Center exclusivity is um, two extra packs which even then back then you get more packs anyway so the only difference is the Pokemon Center stamp um, promo card so that's the sleeves condition markers and damage counters and dice are exactly the same as well again detailed look on my previous video when I where I opened two of them and this, this in the description down below words don't want to come out of my mouth there you go Here's the deck dividers which are exactly the same as well on the front and here's the back but yeah exactly the same and then your regular brick of energy which no one wants to see and then your two core cards so I'll just show you good, good, good luck to whoever gets those and one came one came black and one came white not doesn't make a difference I don't think but yeah there you go and then in terms of packs the regular ETB, which is this one, you get nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, did I count wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so nine packs. And this should be eleven from the Pokemon Center one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, eleven. So perfect. There you go. Alright guys, so that's the contents in the packs, but before we start ripping into the packs, if you enjoy my videos and you haven't already, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. When we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for a Paldea Evolved Elite Trainer Box. So without further ado, let's get into the packs. Alright guys, so first pack, first pack. This is, so we're starting off with the um, regular Elite Trainer Box. Let's see. I mean, if you saw my last video, there's a code cool card. Um, the uh, I got pretty much the exact same pull rates from both boxes, so this is the regular one. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be getting, but if um, but then Taurus nice on my Pokemon Center one, I should be getting a full art, an EX, and an illustration rare. If it's actually batched, like pull rates from the same case, so to say. And the mouse slapping. Yeah, so let's see what the regular one is going to hold if it's gonna do better. I mean, if that Pokemon Center one is gonna be the same as the one from the from my last video, where I get three hits, four hits in terms of the one of them. 
then I feel like the regular ETB isn't gonna win. There's no chance unless you get an SIR. A special illustration rare from the regular ETB, which Yahoo! Ooh, nice. So at least we get an illustration rare. This Tinker Tink, this this card is so nice. The colors Tinker Tink. That's a nice card. I know this is a Paldea Evolve video, but I have to speak of it um, as of me recording this video. The 151 set, the Pokemon, the Scarlet and Violet 151 set has just been revealed as well. So I've thrown up a couple of images, not of cards or anything, but products and stuff like that that's releasing in September. Oh my days. Oh my days. The products itself, they look amazing. Can't wait for that. Oh, but it releases exactly one month of the, of the Obsidian Flames. So that's going to be an expensive three months. Oh nice, Chiyuex. Did I pull this one? I don't think I pulled this one in my last ETB. I hope I didn't. But there's an EX. Yeah, that one five one set. Oh my days. It's gonna be amazing. There's obviously the Pokemon Center ETB. There's a regular ETB which more or less looks the same. I'll probably throw it up on the screen so you can see. There's gonna be a Mew Ultra Premium collection again, which hopefully it's gonna be the same as the Charizard, where it's gonna be easy to pull or easy to pick up. Reverse Superior Privilege. And I guess that's gonna be our special full holiday set. Because normally we get is it free? I think we normally get free special holiday sets. So we get a spring summer and full special holiday set but we haven't had any apart from what's coming which is a 151 which is going to be a special set so there's not going to be any booster boxes but this time around what they're going to do with a special um set is um the booster bundles which they didn't do before love this glimmer so that could be kind of an easier way to get packs instead of having to buy because all it's with these special sets you have to buy them with um collection boxes and stuff and with those one they're expensive two those promos and the stuff that you get in those collection boxes i mean apart from selling bulk what do you need all of those let's just say binder collections that they do or figures and stuff like that you're not really going to do anything with those so let's use the bundles with special sets now if that's going to be how they're going to do it from now on that's going to be a good change because buying I, I don't know seems like in Scarlet and Violet. In terms of Scarlet, I haven't opened any in Paldea Evolved. I don't know if I'm going to, to be honest, but my Paldea Evolved, I mean my Scarlet and Violet base set experience for booster bundles was disgusting, so I don't want to open anymore. So I don't know if I'm going to open any for Paldea Evolved. Wow! Only two hits. Not too bad, but nothing big and only two packs left. But in terms of 151, I think it'd be better to buy the booster bundles and to buy all these collection boxes that they're going to release obviously i'm going to show you some um what's it called okay, some of the that really okay. but I, i'm guessing they're going to be expensive and you don't get that many packs from what can see so i think booster bundles are going to be the way to go for those 151s damn nothing low kicks yeah low kicks all right so last pack from regular etb oof i unless this has a sir or a full art in it or even a gold card nothing if i feel like my pokemon center one's going to be pulling what i think is going to be pulling not think the regular ETB is going to win cool mario fighting light boss dev that's well regular tar nope and nope nope all right guys so moving on to the pokemon center exclusive etb but before we get into that, if you're currently enjoying the video and you stuck with me this far, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. When we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for a part day above the league trainer box. What you this could be a do, let's get into the rest of it. Alright guys, so... Ooh. Um... Come on. Yeah, these... Wow. These elite trainer box, the Pokemon Center one... Um... Packs seem way more harder to open, or tougher to open than the regular ones straight off the bat that's a difference kind of but they always do that with different products um bombardier flamigo wingo nope no first pack magic nope but yeah oh so in terms of yeah these are so much harder to open 
the way they reap as well could have. Anyway. So I should be expecting a full out. High five. High five. Full out. Registration rare. And an EX from this Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. Hopefully. I may perform. Wow. This, I feel like, is the, the worst new Pokemon they could have come up with. The worst. I mean, it's a throwback for anyone that knows um, Earthworm Gym. But, come on, this is just so boring and so, like, I don't know. It's, why? Just why? I mean, in the game, they made a, what they call it again? A Titan? I think they're called Titans. Still. Why? So far, not so good in terms of... Pokemon Center. Well, again, if I'm going to be getting the same pull rates as I did for my last two, this should be good. This should be good, hopefully. But no SIR so far. Guardian Tor was nice. Skip Bloom, Dendro, Pelipper, Magnemite, Garanta. Yes, yeah, so again, going back to Pokemon 151, it's a hype set for sure because it's, I would say for me, I'm gonna like it a lot just because it's gonna be a more um more than adaptation adaptation as much as I like my vintage but I prefer like full arts you get what I mean I prefer full arts the illustration rares the art rares that kind of stuff than the old hollow style if you get what I mean like I like my oh my days like this I like this 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 is what I like my chase card pulled yes chimp out AX SIR, Special Illustration Rare, I pulled my Chase card already, nice uh, This, this is what I like So, they're gonna bring back The 151 set Modernized into Modernized cards now And this, let's just say a Charizard, Special Art Rare, Full Art, stuff like that That's what I prefer So, as much as I prefer my Vintage as well, I'm an old, OD so As much as I like my Vintage I prefer modern. I prefer modern because of the artworks now. The way they can update the artworks and make them like this. Yes. Just about halfway through the Pokemon Center one now and already I've pulled my chase card. I think that's my number one chase card right there and I've already pulled it. Yes. Pokemon Center one's already won. Pokemon Center one has already won just because of that chase card. I mean it can't say no because it's a special illustration rare it definitely beats out both those two hits from oh that's a cool right tree card that's a nice right tree card coffee tail great cool finger top slapping just that chimp out hit right there and i'm gonna content and i'm content i'm gonna say straight away that the pokemon center elite trainer box has already won i don't need to pull anything else fire energy already one and i've already pulled my chase card beautiful yes be fun program normal buffarito love it all say blah five packs remaining i mean are we only really gonna pull the sir no yes come on no way no way i mean that sir could replace the full out that i'm gonna be pulling if my speculation is right before the ex as well even though it was a double banger pack so let's see nope um at least yeah at least another illustration rare hopefully at least an illustration rare i'm hoping because illustration rares i feel like are the hardest things to pull from these sets now the illustration rares are the hardest thing to pull from these sets now you hardly pull them that much and there's loads of so i would like to pull an illustration rare hopefully not a double one i was told pull me Let's yes go! Wow, two chase cards in one video guys, and in one box, this Pyro, illustration rare, one of my chases, because it reminds me of Lion King, I'd say probably Lion King is my favourite childhood, like Disney movie, yeah, nice, I might even throw up like a little video of the scene that I think this refers to. Alright, so with the last three remaining packs, I don't think I'm going to be pulling anything. Oh, come on. Hmm. Maybe. The way I just ripped that. I'm going to try something on the next pack. Might be easier. 
Alright, so yeah, that should be all my pulls. High five. That should be, yeah, the last three packs should be duds. Can't be pulling anything else unless I'm really lucky. Number there, Gothitelle. Yeah, Gothitelle. Guardian Toros. Yahoo! Nice! Another EX, Team Louis EX, so I'll take that, yes. Last two packs, oh my days, I'm starting to sweat. I am starting to sweat because of this beam. I might not do it for the next video, which will be a booster box. I think I'm going to open a, open a booster box next. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle it in a booster box. It's already been like 20 minutes. To, to you, this is probably going to be like 15. But for me, it's been like 25 minutes. And I'm sweating. My head is sweating. Very giraffe. This is another Pokemon that I feel like is useless. But why did they do it? Little watch rule. Look. All right, last pack, last pack from the Pokemon Center one. Yes, I mean I'm not expecting anything from this one because again, I pulled exactly in my other one. The, the first one I pulled was a EX illustration rare and a full art. The second one was the exact same, but with a gold card. So in this case, in this in this Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box one, we pulled two EXs, no full art. My boss there. Yep, no full art. So the full art replaced a special illustration rare one that I wanted. As well. All right, guys. So that was the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box and the regular retail Elite Trainer Box from the regular one. Just the illustration rare and the EX. Disappointing. Actually disappointing. Only two hits, which I guess kind of average, maybe. I'd say two, three hits from my Elite Trainer Box. If you're lucky. Yeah, yeah. And then from the Pokemon Center one, just what I thought, apart from the difference being um, the SIR, the champ on my number one chase card right there, pulled. And then two hits and an illustration rare. So that's six hits from 20 packs. Six hits from 20. Not bad. Not bad. But yeah, guys, that was the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box probably evolved and the regular retail version. If you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. When you reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for a Pardee Evolved Elite Trainer Box. Peace.